Hello friends, you got Robin Ann here and welcome to my kitchen. If you've not joined us before, hey, please hit the subscribe button. And if you've been here a few times or two, you can still hit that subscribe button. But we are going to do a delicious recipe today and I'm really excited about it because it's actually pretty decent for you. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's keto friendly, but it's definitely low carb because it is going to be some Brussels sprouts. And I'll come on for those of you who go, oh, the breath of breath. Come on. These are delicious, especially the way I make them. So stay tuned. Yummy. <laughs> much for joining me today. I hope every one of you out there is having a good day because I am about ready to show you how to make Brussels sprouts taste good. I know you're thinking there ain't no way, but let me tell you what, they are delicious because I was always a type of person on my, like, it's green, yuck, and then Brussels sprouts. Who wants to eat something like that? You will once you see this delicious recipe and it's really easy I am starting off with fresh Brussels sprouts. They are the best. However, also frozen will do. You can make them also, you just want to put them in your microwave, cook them to about half of what your package says. That way that you can cut them up and put them in your pan so that you get all this delicious stuff and you want to caramelize it. And in order to caramelize it, you're going to need to put it in the pan and do a little bit of frying. So that's what the deal is. But I'm going to take these. I'm the only one in my family who likes to eat these Brussels sprouts. So I'm only going to eat, do about half of this pack because I'm going to cut them in half. Literally, I'm going to cut them in half. So let me do that and then we'll get to the rest of it. <laughs> I have got these all cut up <laughs> in half this because again this is for me so this recipe is easy because you can basically fit it to what you need if you're having a bunch of Brussels sprouts still got gotcha. you but if not just have a few of them okay now let me oh sorry about that kind of whip you down here <laughs> now you're going to put some oil in your pan turn it on about three quarters of the way it don't matter. You can kind of adjust your pan. I'm going to use this type of oil. It's an avocado oil. It's also going to add some good fats to the Brussels sprouts. And how much? I don't know. Just kind of put enough in your pan to get it cooking. So if you can see, you know, you just want to get it to cooking, basically. I don't know how much to tell you. I don't know. That's probably about... I don't know, two or three tablespoons, if that matters to you. But we're going to get those warmed up. Now, something I've got in the, I'm going to get down here so you can see me and what I'm talking. I've also have my steaks in the oven. Ooh, they're going to be so good. Let me take a little peek. Oh, they're smoking. That's the reason why I said that. So, oh, who wants to listen to that? We don't. So, give me a second. Okay, I've got some ventilation going on that's not so loud. Let's get these bad boys right in here, okay? Dump them in there. Now you're going to add a healthy salt, Himalayan pink salt. Guys, invest, get used to, do it, okay? Much better than all that other nasty salt that gets refined and bleached and all that good stuff. I'm trying, so hey, if you've made it this far, Put salt in the comments because, yeah, you want to do something, a better salt for you. So, the pink salt, we're going to do that bad boy over there. Ooh, I like the salt. Okay. Okay, okay. Maybe a little bit of ground black pepper. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, now. Now in comes the not so healthy. But if you buy healthier products, I guess. But I don't have, anyhow. Balsamic vinaigrette. Mmm. -hmm. How much? Oh, a lot. We're talking a quarter of a cup, probably. I'm not kidding you. Because all the stuff that I'm telling you right now is going to cook off and just caramelize these bad boys. Ooh, look at that. A little bit of soy sauce. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't want a lot. Oh, I'm slinging it. I'm going to sling it there. 
A little bit of steak sauce. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Yep, just a little bit. Two tablespoons at most. I can lick my fingers. It's my food. Okay. Wish to sheer sauce. You gotta have it. Gotta have it. All right. Hold on. Take it off the lid. Look out. A couple tablespoons. Every bit of it. Where's my spoon? I can't find my spoon. Found it. All right. Just stir those bad boys. So you get a good coating. Can you see that? Is that a lot of juice in there? We're going to cook these bad boys down. That's the recipe, y'all. Please keep on watching so you'll see what these look like at the end. We're just going to let them cook in all these delicious juices. Now you say, I don't have such and such. Find something else. This is a type of recipe that is very forgiving that you can kind of put whatever you want to if or you don't want to into it. If any of those things that I told you you don't like, don't put it in there. This is going to, like I said, you're going to cook it and it's going to caramelize down. So, yeah. You can put a lid on it if I can find it. Or you can just let it basically boil off. So, yeah. Give it a little bit of time and I'll meet you back here. <laughs> I found the lid. <laughs> That'll make it boil a little bit more. I am going to turn it down about half that way. It'll be good, not, I don't want it to cook too hard. <laughs> you can look already how that's starting to caramelize on the bottom there. Just keep stirring it. And also, Brussels sprouts are, from what I understand, a little bit of a, oh, how can I say it? Either you like them really mushy or you like them a little crunchy. So at this point, the more you cook these, of course, the more tender and all shriveled up and everything they're going to get. But they're also going to soak up all these delicious flavors. There's something about the balsamic vinaigrette. If, if I could take any of these and you say, I'll just pick one, that would be it. There's something about balsamic vinaigrette that just really tastes good on these bad boys. But I like putting a little bit of the extra stuff. And you know, something I didn't put in that I need to, and that's garlic powder. What am I thinking? Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know how much. A tablespoon every bit of, if not two. So yeah, I can't believe I almost forgot that. Well, y'all almost let me forget it. And if you're still hanging on, put garlic in the comments, will you? That way I know <laughs> people are watching these all the way through to see how delicious those bad boys are going to look because mm, I can't wait. <laughs> okay, y'all, I just wanted to show you how these are really starting to caramelize. Oh, my. Again, if you bought or used frozen, here I am, <laughs> uh, they will cook a lot quicker. So, again, it's kind of up to your taste. I'm going to cook these until they're pretty tender. I so I have turned them down so they won't get too burn up. But uh, yeah, the car oh. the caramelization. Mm -mm. Is there a song there? Caramelization. There's a ditty in my head, y'all. I can't wait to eat these with my steak. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let's just check these bad boys out. Oh, I can show you. They make a mess up your pan, but that's what makes them good. That car. Oh, can you all see that? You're going to. Oh, it's tender. I know that. That's not. <laughs> Look at that. Help me. Let's get this up here so you can see me a little bit better. It's a little hot, so. Mm. I'm going to cook them a little bit longer. But again, more on your taste level. I like them a little bit mushier. Again, they won't cook up very, uh, they will cook up much quicker frozen. But that flavor really helps because I know 
people get on uh, low carb or keto diets and they lose a lot of the vegetables that they can eat. Now I'm just kind of moving you all around. And a lot of people are like, I'm gonna eat Brussels sprouts. Don't blame you. Add those four ingredients. <laughs> um, and you will. Mm. <laughs> that flavor, it's the balsamic vinaigrette. Again, if the only thing out of those four that you can get is balsamic vinaigrette, that's the one you want. Balsamic vinaigrette, steak sauce, soy sauce. What was the other thing? Mm -mm. Mm. Another one that's really important is Worcestershire. Worcestershire and the, um, Ooh, almost knocked it over. Worcestershire and the balsamic vinaigrette. Just make it. But cook them to how you like them. They're still a little crunchy. Some of them cook a little bit longer to get, make them a little bit more tender. Ah, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Because, hey, I want to make more videos. I want to be more helpful to hopefully give you more recipes, more taste tests so that you don't waste your money. And maybe even some of the beautiful scenery that's around me. And I'm even thinking about doing vlogs. So, hey, if you support that, subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope that you'll try this recipe. These are cooking even more and I can't wait. Oh, <laughs> please tune in again. But do me a favor. Love yourself and love someone else because life is too short. Okay? And I'll see you here next time. You take care and God bless. Bye. <laughs>